you go in the manager's office and uh, you know you have a meeting with him quickly, and you know it's never pleasant. But again, you get older and you realize you know these men, they have a job too. You know, and unfortunately, not all not all news that they deliver is going to be good news. So you know, taking a stride and keep moving. Uh, I think as you get older, you realize kind of the writing's on the wall. I mean, the last two times I know for sure when I've gone up, I've come right back. I've I've been able to go into the meeting and almost like dictate kind of what's going to be said and kind of how it's going to work. So I think you you make your own luck and. A lot of times there needs to be a lot more that happened than, than you think for you to stay. So if you can stay positive and realize just there's nothing you can do, just control what you can control, I think it makes it easier for whatever decisions come. I mean, it's tough. I mean, a lot, sometimes, I mean, you have, you have relationships built with these guys, you know, especially if it's guys that come from our organization. You know, if it's guys from other organizations, there's not as, as much of a relationship there. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, these guys are all men. You know, they're professionals. So for the most part, you just don't try to sugarcoat things. You just say, hey, this is what the organization's doing. This is what we got. This is what I feel, I believe you need to work on. We're going to call the manager. We're going to call the hitting coach or call the pitching coach. Uh, we're going to tell them these things. And, you know, so now it's up to you to get better at them. You know what I mean? So for the most part, they handle that most, the best. You know, if you start sugarcoating things, you know, then you give them reasons to, to, to say, you know, this or that or, you know, have an excuse or whatnot. And for the most part, um, when that when that move happens, it's usually the right move at that particular time. Uh, but the last thing you want is for guys to feel like it's, like it's the end of the world or they failed. You know, I mean, it's not necessarily a, a situation where you failed, but there's just some things that you need to tighten up. So you go down there and you do these things, you're going to put yourself back in a position to be right back up here. Uh, and, and they respond well to that.